Hello, right, everyone. So, so I've got B Lord in the building right here. And B Lord is talking about the re recently trending news how he rejected a 10 million US dollar, not 10 million naira, 10 million US dollar offer to buy out his app. So, B Lord, tell us what exactly is this app about and how did this transaction happen? How did you start the process of the app? Over to you. Thank you, Daddy Freeze. You know, um, this app, Bill Point, it came as an idea during the um, bank issue, uh, NERA scarcity. Then all the banks were messing up. So I was trying to buy data on my phone. The bank app were not working. So I said, why not download, um, develop an application that doesn't have anything to do with the bank? that it will be working on its own 24 hours without the bank, because the bank sometimes, the mobile app doesn't open. So I said, okay, uh, I got some, some guys, tech guys in UK, so they came, we were on call, so they offered to develop Billpoint for 150K, dollars. so we negotiated down to 120K. So at they started US the app. Dollars. People need to yes, 420K US, US dollars. dollars. I, paid, I paid in Bitcoin. I paid in Bitcoin, you know, seven hundred and fifty mm -hmm. seven hundred and fifty naira per uh, seven fifty per dollar. Mm -hmm. So I paid. Now let me ask. Sorry to cut you. There is this rumor that Bitcoin is illegal in Nigeria. That you can't use Bitcoin in Nigeria. How true is that? Uh, that is not. There's a. There's uh, people are misunderstanding that and. That is what they used to eat people in Nigeria. Police will just show you that and, and just to eat you. So the, the our main thing the CBN was trying to say is um, we don't have anything to do with Bitcoin. They are letting the public know that you can do your Bitcoin, but it's not our problem. If they use Bitcoin to scam you, you can never report that case to the police station mm. because mm. CBN has distanced themselves from cryptocurrency. And you know CBN controls the bank. And CBN told the bank also, distance yourself from anything crypto. Mm. Mm. So mm. it doesn't mean um, CBN say if you are doing crypto, they should arrest you. No, they've not declared CBN illegal. Before they declare um, crypto illegal, it has to pass through laws. They ask for assembly before they mm. will say, okay, crypto is illegal. But that thing never happened. So crypto is is legal, but the CBN at your own risk. At your own risk. So it's your own business. If you are doing crypto, it's your own. But that doesn't mean if you do crypto, it will arrest you. I won case against the FCC, and I treat crypto. That was the business I imputed in court. That that's my business, crypto. So I won the case despite I treat crypto. So crypto is never illegal. Mm. Okay, so back to your story. Sorry I interrupted you because a lot of people ask, oh, he paid with crypto. How is that done? So I, I need some clarity. For okay, you. so I paid, I paid crypto because... You paid $120,000 using crypto to the yes. people designing that. Yes, go ahead. Yes, I paid them with crypto because I don't know how to send them money abroad. So we mm. had to be transfer in crypto. So it was, um, they got a, the Bitcoin, they started their development. And the app was um, developed under one month. So the honest truth is, I never expected much from the app because it said the profit margin on that airtime and data is very poor. If I show you my system now, the profit I make per each transaction sometimes three naira, four naira, five naira. So the the the, the transaction uh, profit is not big. So you have to do a lot before you can make money. So on the first week of release, the app. The first day, the app got 50,000 downloads and 50,000 users. On the first day, I made, on the first week, I made 25 million naira. On the first week of release, the app was number one in Nigeria and number five in the US. I made 25 million on the first week. And the app doesn't need um, manpower. It goes automatically. So. I have the resource already, I have staff already, I have the office, I have the old everything. So 
the app was like uh, a free something to my to my company so we just had to employ three people for customer care one for morning one for afternoon and one for night so the salary there is no more than 600k oh. this app is a month and one week now and um we've generated over 105 million oh, oh wow that is almost you've made your investment back literally because yes you yes you invest, uh as 120,000 uh, let, let me use my calculator hundred and twenty thousand dollars times 750 because that's the rate you said you invested 90 million yeah so you've already made a profit of 15 million in one month is that even possible very possible if um, uh, the the thing is um, there's uh, in every business there's secrets. Mm. So the the what I what where the main profit is is from those data. I have to manage to work with Airtel, MTN, and um, Glow. I work with this network directly, so I paid in bulk. I want to buy something in bulk. There's a discount. Mm. So in the data aspect, I make so much profit. So the thing, um, I, 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 I saw the potential of the app. If this app can give me 100 million every month, that means in one year is 1.2 billion. Mm -hmm. So I said, um, this app is still going to grow because I'm sure it's not going to make 100 million next month. It's going to make more than that because the users are growing every day. Currently, we are at 272,000 users already. So I got to my email. My manager told me that um, they sent an email proposing to buy the application. So they will set up a meeting. So we, uh, we joined the meeting, and um, they were offering $10 million for the app. So mm. the, whole, the whole thing that scattered the stuff was... Um, was um, the, the the paying the payment they are paying with CBN rates. That's CBN five thousand dollars or six thousand. Sorry, that's already six million dollars. It don't reduce. It don't. They don't come up forty percent. Yeah. Why did so? You, that they paid you with Bitcoin. They, they, they don't talk about Bitcoin. They said they are going to pay me with um, CBN rate, which is four fifty. I looked at it and I said to myself, that means this guy is going to make his profit. If I use my data, the, the data, the data, the profit he made this month, that means this guy will make the profit in four months. It's, it's, it's nonsense for me. And it's not that I'm, I'm looking for money or the company is owned by, my, all my company shares are owned by me. I have nobody in between. I don't sell shares. I don't have investors. Everything is me. I own every single thing in my company. Every dime. So I can make decisions at any time. So I looked at it, 4.5 billion, because people don't understand that 10 million dollars. They think 10 million dollars is 7.5 billion. But mm. this one I'm telling us is 4.5 billion. Mm. Mm. So that the freeze had to, my team agreed that to sell it since it's new and everybody just see a billion mm -hmm. so i said uh, and the condition they said i can't i can't develop any app that will have bill payments i will never mm -hmm. i will never develop any app that has bill payments until i leave this world oh boy in a full time lifetime contract because if I develop another app, all my fans will come to the app. Mm. So there's no point. Mm. Because I have a dream to develop my own bank app. And my bank app is supposed to have utility bills. Mm. So I looked at it that this will just tie me down. I can't develop any app again. Because any app I'm developing, is supposed to have a little utility bills. Huh. So, yeah, that if I looked at 
what am I going to do with 4.5 billion? Is it going into real estate or is it going to this thing? When I'm seeing daily profits every day, I'm seeing profits. Oh. So I'm, I have businesses. This is not my. This is just a side a new business. I have jet pay. My jet pay business is paying very well. At least my jet pay business generates around um, 80 million every month. The Bitcoin side. Hmm. So it's not that money is the problem. Money is never the problem. Or uh, I have problem. I don't have any financial issue. I live according to my standard. So I don't see any reason for selling the app for 4.5 billion. So I felt I can grow the app with oh. my influence. And growing the app is very cheap for me because if you look at very well, I didn't pay any influencer. I do all the influencing job myself. All the billboards are my pictures. So influencers are not my problem. I do the influencing thing myself. So we are looking at maybe in the next three months, and maybe we can send and if you do an offer to come into the app. Let's see what the video can do for us. Huh. That's the plan. So wow. um, I'm in Lagos now. I'm in Lagos. I came for I came to meet my consultant. I've applied for CBN license. So I want to see if I can compete with OP in the banking system. Hmm. And the and the license costs around uh, 1.2 billion to acquire the C wow. CBN license. Wow. Yeah, and it's a, it's a state license that I, I can't operate outside my state. Wow. A, 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 a microfinance bank. So where would you like to operate if you get this license? Would you want to operate in Lagos or would you want to operate in Anambra? Um, I will operate in Anambra. Huh. That's where uh, I live and I like to... Uh, do my investment in my state. That's where I have mouths. Like in Anambra, I have mouths. In this Lagos, I don't have mouths. Uh, Explain out. We don't understand. What do you mean by mouth? I, I have ground, you know. I know everybody down to the governor. So it's my state. Everybody knows me in my state. From the AIG, the Commissioner of Police. So there's nothing that can happen to me in my state. Nobody can shut mm. down my business. Nobody can say, and the tax in Lagos is too much. Do you know my small office in Lagos, they are pay tax more than the tax I pay in Anambra? Are you the serious? I swear, Lagos, they don't joke with tax. So if when I open this office, the tax in, in, in Lagos is too much. Mm. I, pay, mm. I pay tax in Lagos for my small office I have here. But in Nanambra, mm. how much tax do I pay? The tax are not much. So, mm. 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 doing so, business in Nanambra is very cheap. Is off, would you advise people right now to invest in Nanambra? Is it somewhere you advise people to invest for now? Just off? See, the thing is, is um, if your business is an online business that don't need um, physical customers, you can come to Anambra because in my head office my head office will pay seven million for rent. That's in Anambra. Yes, yeah, seven million for rent, and it's a two-story building, a very big with mm -hmm. so many floors. But in Lagos, yeah, I pay six million for one small shop. Yes, no. something like this kitchen. Mm. House for my estate now seven million. <laughs> Just I said for lucky phase one, my shop, my office is one room. Seven million, but in Anambra, seven uh, six million. Sorry, but in Anambra, seven million will give you two story building. Hmm. So, so Lagos is very expensive to do business, especially when your crowd is online. Yes. So you don't need the office in Lagos. What is it that you need the office in Lagos for? Hmm. You can do hmm. you can do the office in Anambra, where it's cheap for you. Your customers can be community. Your customers can be communicating online. So what am I coming to Lagos for? So that they can't get, start giving me big tasks, give me so much tasks. Electricity bill in Nana. Do you know my office? I pay electricity bill of uh, forty thousand every month in my office. 
But in Lagos, I pay seventy thousand for light. In my house, we pay like two fifty. <laughs> By the time I ah no 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 Lagos, hey Lagos expensive. But but let so me ask you like that, that every Monday not working. How does it affect your business? That's it, doesn't affect my business. it doesn't affect my business. Mm. I work every day. My we have a staff boss. We have two staff boss that brings customers and um, staff to the office and take them back home. Hmm. So when we, in our office when we are working, you won't, the building is shut down, it's locked. We have securities, armed securities in our office. So our office. The, you have gates, you can't come inside, you don't know what's going on. So we work, mm. every, we work 24 hours, 24 hours. We've never closed for one day. Hmm. Wow, 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 wow. So um, I, I love innovative ideas. I love embracing the future. I love imagining before you get to the river. So you don't need to get to the river and start thinking of how to cross. I like all these ideologies. Um, but what's the future for fintech apps and even Bitcoin as a whole, in your opinion? Honestly, I never knew fintech is this rich. Honestly, if you have a successful app, my brother, you are made for life. You are made for life. One successful app, you are made for life. You are made forever. Because there are people ready to buy. Hmm. Hmm. So we just have hmm. to sit down and looking for a solution people need and bring it out as an app. Because I saw data is one of the major problems. Buying lights and buying gift cards. I had to add on all of them. I came to Lagos as well. I just left um, Wakana office. I just finished um, business with them. We signed a deal. So I'm bringing flights into bill points. So you can now book flights and bill points. You see mm. those things I gather? I'm gathering them up, making the app expensive. Mm. Imagine mm. booking flight on bill points. Ah. In each flight, I can make 8,000. Imagine mm. 1,000 people booking flight a day. That is 3 million. Mm. There's money. Mm. There's serious money in this fintech, honestly. Like, mm -hmm. there's serious money. And secondly, we have security. Do you know that we have three Russian hackers that test our system every month? We pay them, uh, uh, we pay them uh, $33,000 to test our, our app, to attack our system and see if they can hack. So when it comes to hacking, we are so secured. Wow. So the only problem fintech have is publicity, adverts, trust, and I have all of them for free. Hmm. Publicity, adverts, trust. Let's all. talk about why do you think people should trust? One, because I have three offices, physical offices. I have one in Lagos, in Lekki, is on the road. I have uh, one in Wuse, Abuja, is on the road. My head of office is on the road. I'm planning to open in Port Harcourt. Mm. So, mm. I don't think somebody that has offices like that would be trying to play games. He has to be serious with his business. So, that's why I'm always very sure of whatever I'm bringing up because getting me is very easy. Mm. It's easy because of mm. my pieces. So I don't mm. want to fuck up. I don't want to fuck up because if somebody find me, they will catch me sharp sharp. Mm. I get you. I get you. So, that, so I use that office to build trust. It's not that the office is, is just the office is just there for trust, for trust sake. So most time our customers go to the office in Lagos to complain if they have any issues. I don't think there's any crypto company like that in Nigeria. That will allow you to come to their office. Mm. I use mm. that idea. Mm. 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 Anyway, I always like to tell people whatever business you do in this life, you do it at your own risk. 
um, um, people like, hey, give me guarantee, give me guarantee. But then when the problem happens, they pull out, they pull back. Yeah. Yeah. So I always like telling people on my platform, business is risky. He paid $120,000 according to his story. What if the app did not work? Hundred thousand nice dollars gone. has gone. That's gone. <laughs> that was gone forever. Ninety million naira like this. Poof. Gamble. I played gamble. Gamble. Mm -hmm. So you want you want a business that you will put in two hundred thousand and get fifty million, but you are not worried that your two hundred thousand can disappear. Mm -hmm. So that's. Nigerian story. That's why me, I always tell them that, that if it's not responsible for any business decisions you make, that if it's not responsible for any financial transactions you do, learn it yourself, do it well, learn from the experts. FinTech, like Bill Lord has said, is the way forward. Look around you and solve problems. Do you know why I like this guy? I gave him a test question. I said, ah, why are you not coming to Lagos? I said, no. He would rather go and develop where he is from. And from there, expand to everywhere, but develop Anambra. My wife is from Anambra State. Wow. Um, where are you from in Anambra? Oka. Uh -uh. She's from Oka to where in Oka? Ebenebe. Oh, She's from Amorbia. Amorbia, not Amorbia. Huh? Amorbia is very close to me. Uh -huh. Amorbia is close to, me, to, uh -huh. to my house. So, wow. Um, you, you see, the world has become a global village. There are people who work in America. You are going to start seeing this trend over the next 10 years. They are going to start relocating to Africa, where bills are cheaper, where yes. cost of life is cheaper, because their work is remote. That one or two they have at the head of office in America once or twice a year, if they travel and come back, it's still cheaper than living in America. So you are going to see people living in Oshun State, working in New York, living in Anambra, working in South Korea. The world is globalizing and becoming one big village. So the more you, you develop places like Anambra, like like Osho State, like Kogi State, all those far fetched states, the better it is for Nigeria. We cannot only have only Lagos and Abuja. So everybody wants to come to Lagos. Sorry. Yeah, go ahead. Everybody wants to come to Lagos. See, the thing is, um, I live in Anambra. Who will say, Bilo, what are you doing in Anambra? Why, why not come and stay in Lagos? Come and stay in Abuja. So many people are my tenants in Lagos. I have so many tenants in Lagos. So hmm. many tenants. Because the real estate we do, my company does is renting. We don't sell houses. We are not looking for anywhere to do. We are not just doing our real estate to make money. We are doing our real estate to invest money. So our company, we invest money in real estate. So what we do, we come to Lagos and buy houses and rent it. We don't, we just want to keep the house there, want to just buy a house and save money. So, so many people are my tenants in Lagos and some people are my tenants in Abuja. Mm. I have, I have, I have, I have houses in uh, Abuja and I have a personal house that I live in Abuja too. But I like Anambra because of, of how small where I live is. Like Abuja, when I was in Abuja yesterday, before I go and eat, I would drive 40 minutes before I would go and eat. Abuja is so big that before you but go and see Anambra, something. Where are the places like I've been to Anambra before? Where are the like places? Like you say, if you say in Oka now, uh -huh, if, you say Oka. In Oka, if you say in Oka, everything is there for you. There's no place that will take you more than five minutes in Oka. Everything. If you live in Oka now, they said it, they said it, uh, everything is together. Unlike Abuja, that you drive 40 minutes. But in Anambra, everything is close, very close to you. There's one place we went to eat bush meat. Baby, where was that place? We drove far. 
That one is not Oka, but it's still, I think it's still Ambra Street. One place is on the road. They drive and drive. They have bush meat and palm wine. I think it's the... Um, um, I think it's the shop or the go -go shop. I think it's, it, it should be... Um, um, OJ. OJ. I think one school is there. A barrier. Is it a barrier? I don't know the name. I've only been there when uh, my wife lost her dad. We're in Anambra for the funeral. It has to be. Is it Udi? Baby, is it Udi? Udi is Nenugu now. Udi is Nenugu, not Anambra. So it was Anambra, Shabo. We shall drove. So that time I just fell in love with Anambra. I said, man, this place is beautiful. You know, everywhere was, was nice. And that it is the Anambra is cheap. Honestly, very cheap. Hmm. Mm. Mm. I'm learning it. You would get. Look at this. Everywhere is jam packed, traffic everywhere. Uh, office. I'm office in Anambra. I'm going to take the I will open up less than five minutes for bush meat. Someone said your wife. So, dad. Sorry, a bit of network. Let's wait for the network to stabilize. Hello? Oh, oh wow. So, okay. Anambra, is, Anambra is okay for me. I prefer Anambra okay. to Lagos. Okay. So, anyway, Bido, lovely with you today um thank you for the exposure and all that for those who, who don't believe that you can be offered 10 million dollars some people are saying what but because in their whole life they've lost do you realize that 10 million naira eh? some people will walk for 20 years after that. so when they hear 10 million I think it's impossible i don't think it is impossible with the tech world and the fintech world world anything uh, you can you can check you can check the app store there's no app from number one to number 20 that will sell for nothing less than 20 million dollars check the app store do you know that viewpoint is number one on the app store now you can check it use your phone and check viewpoint it's on number one store it's stopping op pampy hmm. you think you want to sell op they will sell op for 50 million dollars Ope, Ope won't go nothing less than 80 to 100 million dollars. Now, Pampe, look at Pampe. Look at, um, check the app store, you see the apps there. No app from 1 to 20 will sell for below 20 million dollars. How do you check the app store? Call your mom. You go to the app store, go to the app yes. store, search for the app, you see the, you see the number, which number is that for viewpoint? See the number it is. Okay, on I yes, search for viewpoint. You see the number it is. Viewpoint. Okay. Uh how do I know this is it, Abi? Yes, you check click on it. Okay. You see the number. Number oh, what? Number five. Click on it, open it. Click on that number five. You see top chart. These are the top chart. Oh, top wow. Chart. Number one is OP. Number two is GT World. Number three is Pound Pay. Number four is New Credit. Number five is Bill Points. So those five apps now. Cash, seven Fly Pay, eight Kuda. Nine access bank more ten UBA Binance. So those ten number apps, five. Binance is those number numbers. Five. Your app is number five. Now, wow, no, no app for that place could sell 20 million dollars. No app. Do you know what it takes for your app to be number five or number one or number two? It takes a mm. lot. Meta Trader is number 43. Zenith Bank is not, Zenith Token is number 51. 
Oh boy, you walk, oh. Ah, I walk. The app was number one before. Oh, but the one I dropped this morning. Oh, babe, without your access bank, is number 23. Zenith Easy Money is 21. Binance is number 12. No, any bank app, Easy Money. That's the, I think that's the app, number 21. No, any bank is ahead of Access. So. Let me see, Access. Access. Access more is number nine. Top 10 is right. So GT Bank, GT World, number two. So if, if person won't buy GT Bank app, now I go carry like 50 million, 100 million. Is there what as if one buy GTB, like buy GT would sell nothing less than three hundred million dollars. GT Bank, you are seeing so. Wow! And guess, guess what? You are number five, babe. Take a look at it. This is from iPhone directly. You are number brother. See what it is. Mister Free, this was number one this morning. I'm surprised it's number five now. It's number one. Wow. If I can wow. Now, I'll show you. Number one. It has been mm. number one for like one week. It has been number one for one week. Wow. Now, what are you offering them that none of these other apps have access to? Cheap data. Cheap data. Yes. Oh wow, that is amazing. Data of 100,000. I sell it 70,000 on my app. You can try it. Talk to your mom. Sorry, say that again. A call came through. Data of 100,000 on your banking app. I sell it for 70,000. Check it. So cheap. Data is cheap. I sell iTunes card there. I sell iTunes card. You can't see iTunes card anywhere in Nigeria to buy. I only deal on, I'm the only app that deals on iTunes card. Those iTunes card you used to pay for your Apple Music, you can get some viewpoint. You can buy lights on viewpoint. You don't need to wait for email. The thing will be on your app immediately you pay. And do you know that we don't ask for your personal details, just register with your phone number and email we'll give you we'll give you three account numbers three account numbers mm. Mm. so mm. if you register now you have three account numbers no bvn needed email and phone number that's all Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Oh, my man, every day, then, no, oh, baby, let's go and do our own app. Let it be tough. Ah, Baba, we don't let you want to have the terminal, I'll give you some, some technicians. We're going to run out for you, sharp, 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 you can open it, open it, let them ask me. Okay. Guys, please remember if you are disrespectful, I will check me for your papa and your mama before I come out to you for this live. So just be respectful. Feel free to ask your questions. Okay. All right. So I've sent out a couple of requests. All right. In Hello. <laughs> Hello, my darling sister. How are you doing? I'm fine, Daddy Freeze. How are you? I'm very, very fine. So we've got B-Lord here. Yes, yeah, so B-Lord. Go ahead and ask questions. Okay. Yeah, good Hello, everyone. Welcome. Ah, B-Lord. Well, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I'm so proud of you. My blood sister cannot marry out. 
<laughs> ah, 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 ah. I know our family now. I lost them. Back of my house. Yes. Yeah, so. Mm. I'm so so proud of you, bro. Like, keep doing what you're doing, honestly. Thank like, you. I'm so so proud of you. Thank you. I'm a very big fan. I was just gonna ask, you know, with this, um, it's also like a question and not a suggestion. Obviously, it's uh, a business app, and you know, the Bill Point app is a business app. And I know a lot of people obviously will be doing what you're saying and things, but. What encouragement are you looking to like give people, you know, who are looking to invest into in tech and fintech and all that? Like, how do they go about it? And you know, what's the best way to approach it? Of course, I know that most of these things will be very capital intensive because I'm I've been listening to you guys' uh, conversation. The 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 sorry, uh, the money you're calling is not what. Uh, an average Nigerian on the street can afford to be very honest. But from for you that started from small and obviously grew up to this point, <clears throat> what advice do you have for you know people that want to venture into uh, this sort of thing, like into fintech or into any sort of tech thing? So what advice do you have for them? All right. So um, if not for that, I'm a one man person. Five people can own an app. Most of the apps, most of the apps you know today, are owned by co-owned by different people. If you don't have much money, you can gather people that have. Okay. Dream with you, like five people. Okay. The advice before you develop an app, you need an app that everybody uses. Okay. Don't go and develop app that is for certain people. If you look at viewpoint now, you can't tell me that. If he doesn't buy that on airtime. Yeah. Everybody needs that. So you have to need to develop an app that everybody uses. If you develop an app everybody uses and they find it interesting, forget if that kind of app exists before. Just develop it. You see that people like your own. Okay. And in fintech, you don't even need stress. It's automatic. Just just do I am now. Viewpoint transfer is going on viewpoint. I don't even need to be there. My laptop is closed. Everything is just there, doing on its own. So I feel you can be like five co-owners, five owners owning one app. And if the app could fly, the only problem, the challenging app, is not about building it. It's about people accepting the app. Yeah. That's okay. They need they need influencers, and these influencers. They, they now charge ridiculously. There's one I was chatting that was having 1 million uh, followers. He's telling me endorsement is 17 million. Who are you now? Everybody wants to get their own cake. Yeah, so you imagine trying to pay this guy 17 million and he will just do, he won't do the video from his art self. He doesn't even care if you have users or not. You will just do his own and go. So the problem, the major problem is advert. That's just my problem. That's the only problem I see in fintech. You need okay. advert. So mine was successful because I have the name already. Ah. So, so I will advertise myself. I don't need to pay anybody. I do everything myself. I talk the video. If you check on my billboards in Lagos and Abuja, it's my face. I didn't pay anybody. And it's free. Okay. That's it. Okay. So we, we can still buy your idea. If you have an idea, well, you, can buy, you can walk to us. Okay. Okay, that, that's very good. That's fair enough. And then another thing I was going to ask, sorry, bro, before I leave you guys, another thing I was going yeah, to, to ask is about, uh, you were talking about not selling shares at all. I know that most of these big people, most of these uh, big names, like these, all these Delta Dollar and all these people, I know they sell shares, like they have, most of the things they own, they like not, like Dan Gote as well, like he doesn't own it on his own. So, like, I, I'm just asking, would that not, like, be, like, a problem in future? Like, if you have any, like, issue, you know, like, you know, is, do you not think it's safer for you to, like, think of maybe selling shares and sort of thing? Yeah. Like, make the company of, publicly traded. Would that not, like, traded. move the company forward, make it have more value internationally? Yeah. Even scale, scale the, yeah, scale your business. Yes. Don't 
Don't you think um, that's an avenue to scale your business? The thing is, um, it's um, I I'm living my life from my past. As a student in school, I faced rejection. People rejected me like I don't know why. Uh, so I was a one-man person. Now that was when my wife came into my life, and both of us were just lonely. We had nobody there. So I faced rejection. So that rejection made me. I said, anything that I'm doing, I have to do it on my own. Humans will always be humans. Do you understand? Yeah. Doing business with people sometimes doesn't go well. You can true. Check. You can that, that is true. One person might be feeling is doing more than the other person, and that's where problem comes. That's true. But I think in shares, in share, in selling shares, it's not always the case. Daddy Freeze, you know much about shares. <coughs> you want to buy Shares, no, 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 I don't want to buy shares. I'm just asking, no. <laughs> well, I, I would be interested. I'm but apart from, from that, to buy but right, there, there's a risk. <laughs> should anything happen to you, should anything happen to you, there should be somebody to at least continue that wife, business. Too. I don't know yeah. who else is it. Okay, your wife. My wife has the power. But then, yeah, um, there's also, oh, he, there's oh, also oh, something oh, in partnership oh, right? oh, that oh, keeps oh, you. Say my wife. Yeah, please, please, please. Please. Okay. My wife, every, all my companies are under me and my wife. Okay, that's very, very good. If anything happens to me, my wife, my wife is a very smart person. My wife is very smart and active. My wife, you see, she's very intelligent. So I believe, even if I leave now, she can continue and hold the company very, very well. So I left, mm. left everything for if my wife can sign for me, we are in signing as one of the company. Wife can sign and they will approve. So my mm. wife can continue. And why do people sell shares? I want to ask why do people sell shares? I think shares kind of make your company stronger because then it's not unified. It's not just like an individual thing. When you sell shares, it makes your company yeah. more powerful and it makes it kind of opens up avenues and for bigger endorsements and bigger collaborations and obviously international mm -hmm. collaborations as well. That's my own personal. I'm not very uh, good yes. with finance. Yes. So. There's also the area of, of trust. There's also the area of trust where the public gets to trust um, this company that, hey, we have people who have shares, you know, or, or, or other reputable people who have shares in the company, and but then they will be like, hey, we can shares, actually invest in this company. The or... Of course, in share, yeah, in shareholding, of course, you get. Yes. I'm not very, I'm not a financially, I'm a nurse, I'm a registered nurse in the UK, so uh, I'm not very good with all this. Uh, no. But I think if you, if you, like, if your company sells shares, it will kind of, they will obviously gain because it's business. They wouldn't be investing for That's the problem. Profit, you know, I'm they want to gain share my profits. <laughs> it's up to you, bro. You also, you also get to scale your company now. Like if your company is worth maybe $50 million, you know, and then you sell shares, you get, say, $150 million, right? You can venture into other things. You can scale your company and grow and make I more think, profit um, and share. Money is not everything in business. People spend money and, and people, brother, spend money, people spend money here yeah, and their business is still not successful. Hope you, hope you know that. That's true, though. You can, you can spend yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah. 100 million for a business and the business still won't be successful. So this one, I'm, mm. I'm lucky to see a successful business. I want to start selling shares when I'm not looking for money. Please, let me manage my business like that. I'm not selling shares. We'll manage it like that. And when it comes to shares, if you share the shares now, when it comes to profits, you start splitting your profits. That's another thing. Splitting profits. Okay. Okay. I, will start I mean, I believe that uh, I will start you already established how you want to run profit, your business. I mean, when, if, I, if I'm selling shares, I will share the money. Abby? True. Yeah. Uh, 
And if you do that one, I'll be problem. I'll be problem there. Okay. That's fine. If that's what I you want. I don't want to share my profits. Okay. My, my question is um, on the ten uh, technology technological aspect of things, right? Um, what wow. types of tools, you know, technology do you use when you want to build like a fintech app? Okay. And um, how do you, what do you think uh, um, could, what type of API mm. do you like, um, you know, um, get when, you know, um, establishing an app? What type fintech? of APIs? It depends on the app you are building. Yes. Every app has the kind of API they go for. So people like us, mm -hmm. we go for MTN API, okay. Ether API, and Glue API. Okay. These people now, they have their own API. So it depends on, like me now, I'm going for, uh, uh, I just left the office for Flight API, which will be approved in the next mm -hmm. few minutes. You are going to look for a legitimate API. There are different thousands of APIs that will give you cheap for us. Mm. Like me, I'm using Twitter API. Okay. So, um, are you using so you're using what? API as well. Okay. 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 Mm. Mm. Omo, we're supposed to be on for 30 minutes. Where is B-Lord? But we've been on for an hour now. Yes. Somebody called me. Sorry. Okay. Someone, someone, someone asked. Someone asked. Say, are you using Red, Red? or SOAP API? No, no, no. I don't know about IP. Oh. 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 Um, so... As far as the technological tools, what, what type of tools like um, um, out like programming languages and um... so B Lord might not be part of the technical. Okay, I don't know anything else. All these are for these are for the tech. He's more that guy. He's, okay. he's more. <laughs> the, 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 I use the tech guys. I'm a uh, businessman. The tech guys do the thing. I do my business. Now let me you ask. Know, you, let me ask you a question, B Lord. Out of the hundred, and this is just me questioning. Out of the hundred and twenty thousand dollars you paid tech guys, how much is their profit? Right? Everything, everything is their profit. Though. Wow, that's massive. The tools they, pay, the tools they are paying for is very cheap, so they can't spend more than five thousand dollars because they have. They have. They have. They have. They have that app that looks like that if another person is building it you just copy and paste so these guys they have this kind of yeah, viewpoint app before that didn't fly so they copied everything paste that's why like then one mode to develop and i think it's free because they didn't spend money they copied and paste. They just sorry, paid. my darling. As a registered nurse in the UK, yeah. How much is salary in here? As a registered nurse. Well, for me, I'm an agency nurse. To be honest, it's very different from working for the NHS. So, plus and minus about ninety grand a year. That is uh, pounds. Which is about a hundred and twenty thousand dollars. Yeah. That about that. And that is like, obviously, with you working, doing at least four nights every week. And this is, remember I said, this is with me working as an agency nurse. So <laughs> I'm not, if I was to be working for the NHS, it's obviously not going to be close to this, you know. So I think tech is the new thing. Sorry, guys, my children just came back from school. Let me take them up. <laughs> oh, man, we they learn every day. We they learn every day, so, my dear brother, you are in the tech. I can see so, the questions you're asking. Reload. So, um, how has it been your own journey? Mm -hmm. Just one minute. Okay, so I have a background in the um, oil and gas engineering, right? And um, so I've been transitioning recently 
I've done a couple of um, training and certification, you know, to transition to DevOps. Um, I've had experience, you know, in um, areas like um, a cloud. And um, I've come to understand that, you know, the tech industry is constantly growing. Although recently there has been some layoffs, you know, in companies like Google, um, Amazon, and um, you know, Facebook, I mean, tens of thousands of layoffs, which has really affected the industry. I was supposed to start a, you know, uh, a contract with a company. And um, because of these layoffs, it has really impacted, you know, uh, the tech market, which has made it very volatile. Um, though I would say tech is still very much promising, especially when you are like developing your own business, just like d -Lord is doing right now if you are developing your own business i feel like tech is going to be you know very profitable for you um also working for a company is still for profitable although in recent time it's a bit shaky right now but um, we still believe that um, it's still a stronghold people make a lot of money from it some people get you know uh, multiple jobs you know working from home you know and um I would advise people to, you know, still look into Absolutely. tech. It's a promising I'm venture. In that and, now. Um, <laughs> yes. 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 And you can, um, you can go through, you know, um, programs like Scrum Master, you know, and then you look into the cloud, cloud computing, look into DevOps. That's if you don't want to really do hardcore programming. I, I okay. Um, but um, um, just in a few minutes. So, B Lord, over. Let's close this. Thank you so much for coming, and thank okay. you so much for sharing uh, your story, uh, motivational, inspirational, and um, all that. Oh, do the enter B Lord phone now. We well, now we will not make a sign off. So, B Lord, <laughs> let me call. Let me call. Okay. <laughs> so, in one minute, summarize everything you want to say, so we can. Say goodbye to everybody here. Okay. Daddy Priest, what I want to say is um, if you want to make it in life, you have to focus and you have to think beyond, you have to look at what is happening around you and, and do something. Viewpoint was developed by what I, viewpoint idea came from the cashless policy. Do you know that during the time of cashless policy, all the banks shut down because everybody was trying to do transfer. I wanted to buy airtime, I couldn't because my app was not working. Hmm. But as me, as me, viewpoint was there, this won't happen because sure. viewpoint is not a banking app. So I had to do something that is not, because almost all your banking app has buying data. So I think there are only few apps that does utility bills separately from the banking style. So I looked at it, they're not even many, they're not even popular. That's when I brought out PeerPoint. So okay. you have to get solutions or to, to problems so that you can make money. Solutions to problems. So, so like now. If they need, find a need and meet it. Um, you have to look at, and if you want to develop something, you have to look at what everybody uses, not a particular set of people. Class of people. Like JetPay. I have an app, JetPay. It's not that popular. Why? Because it's meant for some certain types of people. Hmm. JetPay now. I have a question for Bill. Bill, Bill so JetPay has just uh, 100,000 users. For over six, uh, eight months now. But Viewpoint is one month and has 270,000 users. So look at them. So if you're looking for app, look for app that everybody will use. Everybody will use, not, certain, not for females or male or for young or old. Everybody must use that app. Uh -huh. There are lots of apps like that that we are still thinking on how to make it work. Which I don't believe. I don't believe in uh, secret in business. 
if you can do it go and do it absolutely I, makes I, sense yeah, I, can some, i can see some comments here people yeah are, people are saying below don't keep secrets below my brother they can tell you the secret to a business and you still fail you and still you fail that fail <laughs> about the <laughs> all right guys i've got to run <laughs> Bill, that that phrase, that phrase, just a quick one, please. Let me yeah, very wait. quick. Just a quick one, please. Bill, yes. Do you have like a community of people where you like interact and then share, no. um, you know, no. ideas or knowledge? Are no. you looking to like set up one? <laughs> I think that would do a very good. Um, it would uh, it would be good for our community, you know, especially people who have interest in. You know, um, this we'll think like, about uh, that. Um, Maybe space. after this call. Maybe after this. <laughs> please, 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 please. Yes. All right. Thank you, Daddy. Please we'll thank, thank you, Daddy. Thank you for, like for, for, thank you for having us do. online. For having me online, thank I really appreciate that. Please. Thanks so much. Guys, one day, okay. Take care of yourself. I'm so proud of what you are doing. All right. Minutes, guys. All right. Take care. God. Go and take care. Yeah. Yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.